Hey, beautiful spirits. Today we're talking about grief and guilt. Yesterday I was talking to somebody who has tremendous guilt over somebody they lost. They have guilt because they are living their life and they don't want to do fun things in their life because they feel like their loved one's missing out. And so it prompted me to look at the internet and find an article by Litza Williams that really inspired me. So I kind of wanted to do this video and share because I know that this is a really common feeling. I'm LD Juarez and I'm your Sparkle Coach and it's my mission to help you get your sparkle back no matter what bully you're facing, whether it's depression, anxiety, PTSD, loneliness, grief, any of the bullies. So let's get into this. First of all, guilt and grief go hand in hand sometimes and it's normal and it's okay. If anyone tells you it's not okay, you don't have to listen to that. Your feelings are completely valid. And until you're ready to process them, it's okay. So then when you are ready to process those feelings, then you want to think about what is this guilt about? Why am I feeling this? What prompts me to feel guilty? Sometimes you might feel like you weren't there for them. Sometimes you feel like maybe you're regretful, you let time pass by. Whatever it is, take a look at it all and write it down. Write it all out. And then get someone to talk to. Whether it's a loved one that knew them too, or a trusted friend, or a therapist, a counselor, a coach. Somebody who is a safe place for you to sit and talk with. Where you can get all these deep down feelings out in a safe environment. So that's really important to do because sometimes it's hard to do this on your own and it's okay to get help. So that's a really important thing. So once you have that, then you want to look at your thoughts. Are you bullying yourself? Did, is there, are they justified? Were you that horrible of a person? Chances are you were amazing. Chances are your love was amazing to this person. Chances are they cherished you just as much as you cherished them. But sometimes there are these negative thoughts and you beat yourself up because you wanted to be more. And that's okay. But take a look at it and really examine it. And when you're talking to whoever is helping you, work through this. Because for the most part, you were a wonderful person. I know it. And if you think about this, in this way. I like to think of things this way because it is more comforting. So if it was a friend or somebody you had a falling out with years ago and you had a really good relationship up until that point and then you had a falling out and then years go by and then you hear that they passed away and then you feel guilty for not rekindling that relationship or not apologizing or something or you wish that you would have gone to them and worked it out. Maybe they were in your life and you were in their life for a reason and a season. Maybe it wasn't supposed to be lifetime right now. And maybe what you were supposed to be for each other was fulfilled in this lifetime. And that's okay. If it was somebody that passed away suddenly, unexpectedly, um, and you know they had a lot of life to live, maybe there is a reason that their spirit needed to be in that form rather than here physically, maybe there was more they could do in the spirit form. And maybe that's why that happened. I know that sounds a little woo woo to some people, but it's comforting to me. It's how I comfort myself with losing my sister because I know she is with every single one of us, especially all her babies. She is with our, all her children, each of them at the same time, always. And that's comforting. To know she's always there and so realize that you were there you did love them they know that if you were a person who didn't share didn't say the words maybe you showed by actions and they know that when people cross into the spiritual again all that love comes in they know it so I hope that that can give you some comfort. That's just my two cents. So talking about the negative thoughts that bully us, right? So if you can substitute those with good thoughts and good memories, think about all the times you did have together. 
Think about all the things you were for each other. Think about all those things and allow those to be a blanket to cover your heart, you know, to comfort you and help you feel better and tell the bullies to stop it, you know, right? You're, you're having a hard enough time. Grief is hard enough. You don't have to bully, bully yourself anymore. You can just feel your feelings and trust that you are healing and it's okay to also think of good times. It's okay to let those comfort your heart. And then forgive yourself. Forgive yourself for those bullies, for letting the bullies tell you you shoulda, woulda, coulda. Forgive yourself. And then tell yourself, you know what? I did do good. I did love them. They know I love them now. They knew I loved them then. And it's okay. Forgive yourself. That's so important. And then what did all of this teach you? What did knowing them teach you? What did you learn? What did you learn from this process of losing them? Sometimes it helps you be more loving. If there's something that you're feeling guilty of that you're regretting or something you wish you would have done, you can do that now in your life for other people. And that's a wonderful way to honor your loved one. So think about anything that you learned. And then after that, take action. So teach other people. Share your experience with your grief. How have you healed? Share that with other people who may be suffering. Share about your loved one. If they passed in a tragic accident or something, speak out about seatbelts, drunk driving, any of those things. If they passed from an illness, you can speak out about research or awareness for it. And that way you can feel you are really contributing to helping other families not have to go through what you went through. So that'll help ease your grief. And then finally, what would your loved one say to you? What would they want you to feel? They most likely would not want you to feel guilty, for sure. They wouldn't want you to feel sad. They wouldn't want you to spend every day in your room crying and being upset. They would want you to live your life because life's to be lived. They may not be able to enjoy those things in the physical form, but if they're in your heart, they will be with you every day you do something. So do that. Live your life and honor them. And I hope that this video has been helpful for you. It took me a lot of takes to do this. It's a very sensitive subject, and I know that. And I just want you to know if you're grieving right now, I want to give you a big hug. I want you to know I know what it's like. I have lost so many people in a row in the last four years, including the majority of my immediate family, and it is very tough. And I want you to know you can do this. You can. Your feelings are valid. It's okay to cry. It's okay to be angry. It's okay to feel whatever you're feeling. And it's also okay to allow yourself to heal. So I hope this helped you. And please hit like. Thank you for subscribing. And big hugs and love to you. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.